This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, their physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson making music. Making songs, awesome. You can make and play a full songs with the buzzer play notes. It takes two parameters, an array of notes to play, a tempo at which to play the notes. Oh, in previous bubbles, <laughs> bubbles, uh, sorry, uh, you've created arrays of notes and played through them randomly, but buzzer play notes plays each note consecutively, one after another. Pull out the buzzer play notes block and change the starting array inside. Okay. Buzzer play notes. Boom. Oh, here's the starting array. Hey, what's a... Oh, this is probably what we just tested. Okay. Make sure the new array you give it has at least two pairs of notes that are next to each other in the list. Oh, okay, so not like a bunch of null. Don't forget that you can always switch back and forth between blocks, block and text mode. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and try this out. So what notes do I want to use? I want to use A, and then it looks like we have numbers with them, so... A, because they're piano keys. Oh, what's it doing? A, four, and then after that, let's use G, four. So I need quotes here because these all go in quotes. Okay, and then after G, four, I'm going to go ahead and use F, four. And after F, four, I'm going to go ahead and use g4 again and then let's see a4 and now oops i need quotes let's see if this is something okay so i just filled in the notes whoa I'm going to change this up. What if I do 300? Whoa, that was okay. What if I do 50? Huh? Huh? Are you hearing it yet? Oh, wait. Wait. No, that's not what I... I'm going to switch to text mode. Okay, let's try this. Well, that was kind of high up end. Do we have access to C1? We'll find out. Well, it's, it's the start of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Regardless, ta-da! Awesome, let's keep going.